This is in response to this comment because I can see uh, you responded that you're doing this. These are the economy cakes that I told homemakers and small bakery shops not to do because it's not going to make you money. So this is what I tell you to do. Number one, just sit down and do your costing. Like if you if you just want to make sure am I making more profit or not, instead of me telling you to stop, I will tell you sit down because right now you have experience. You've probably been selling them for some months. Sit down, look at your recipe, do the costing. And then look at whether you're making enough profit. See the number of things you're selling and all that. And again, if you don't know how to cost and price, we have a cake pricing bundle that teaches you how to do that. It's a video and a, a video. It's a video explaining how to use a spreadsheet. It's a spreadsheet in an ebook. Okay, get it. There is a number on DM. Just, you know, what's up on that number. Now, once you do your costing and pricing, you're going to figure out, am I actually making any money. And as a person who's done this before, I had costed everything, but they said my first shop, what happened is I started doing those scones that were 10 bob, but I didn't do costing for them. And I don't know why I'd done costing for everything else, but I hadn't done for that. Right. And so I went three months, talked to a baker who gives me her, her story on how she did cupcakes and did costing and found out she's making losses. That day I did costing with a sinking feeling in my stomach that night. And by the next day, I went and told all the shops that I'm no longer doing the scones. Why? I was selling them at 50 shillings, but it was costing me 120, which means every time I did it, I was losing 60 shillings per bag. I mean, it was a nightmare. And after that, I actually closed that shop one month later. So you, if you're not making uh, losses, I'd be shocked, but sit down, do costing. So first thing, do costing. Second thing, ask yourself, what else can I sell that is gonna make me money and as much as cliche this is when you're a home baker or small baker shop owner you want to sell something that you can charge a little higher and the problem with those budget products is that they don't allow for that and so what you want to do is get something like celebration cakes because those the more or like the, the better they look the more you can charge them right and also if people know that you do a good job they're more willing to buy at a higher price right so make sure you sit down look at the different type of niches that you can get into um look at your skills do you have the skills to do these niches like celebration cakes wedding cakes you know something that you can charge a little bit more and then just kind of stay away from those budget things right and you can do a little research in your area if you're in kenya or whatever country you're in just do some research and walk around and see what are people buying slightly more what are people willing to pay a little bit more for then start thinking of doing that if you can already do celebration cakes like birthday cakes uh, sh baby shower cakes do that. I also want to mention to you that there's a link on my profile on how to get to my channel. And so you want to check out the videos there because I share a lot of tips on how to do that, like how to brand, how to market, how to get started on that. So just check that out. Okay. I hope this helps.